Today video is sponsored by Ally Care and in the packaging I received these goodies that I'm showing you right now. The wig that I got is a 22 inch kinky straight hyper realism 13 by 4 HD frontal wig and the density is 180 so the body is there. With the baby hair edge being kinky texture and it's fully on the 4C side and the hairline is pretty plucked and pretty bleach ish. So let us get up close and personal and take a look at the ventilation of the kinky edges like they got this all the way right like the most natural airline that i've ever tried so far like honestly i am in love with this wig no joke now you can get a better look on where they bleach the knots and they bleach the outer portion where the hairline starts and this can allow you to wear it as it is and the wig construction features um, four wig combs and adjustable straps and the one at the top is removable I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the entire frontal off camera let's get down to business I'm going to take her and place her on my head to make sure everything is properly in place because I need everything to line up the way it's supposed to be. Now look at this. This hairline is everything and more. Like it mimics my hairline perfectly because normally I have to recreate my hairline and with this wig, I don't have to do a thing, okay? Not at all. Cutting off this part for now so it won't be difficult for me to cut off when it's all glued out. Using the ball hole liquid gold to lay the frontal down. And what I love about it is that you can always correct your mistake if you slip up because when you use glue, there's no way you can easily remove it. But when you use water based product, you just tap some water upon it and leave it for a couple seconds and then just remove it. And with the glue, I don't use it that often anymore. I will work with the hairspray and the liquid gold or any liquid sticky products. Yeah, I can work with that but just not glue right now. Cutting off the excess lace that is not needed and I'm gonna carefully make sure that I'm not cutting away any of the kinky baby hair because I need it all. Yes, I do. I need all the regular is cutting it in a zigzag motion because you don't want it to look wiggish, you feel me? Using the melting ear spray at the edge of the wig so the lace can lay down flat. Followed by the elastic band to melt everything into the skin. So you don't want a stiff hair line, you need it to be soft. So I'm using the hair mousse to soften the hair. 
I'm using the comb to gently brush out the baby hair because I don't want it to be clumped up together and I'll be combing it back and forth right here I'm using the wipes and I put some tinted lace mousse on the and the wipes tap it in the frontal area to blend more with my skin Draining the parting space and I won't be pressing it out, no flat iron, no curls in it. I just want it in its natural state. So for this, I don't have to do no plucking, no recreating hairline, no baby hair. Like that's time right there. And the fact that I don't have to do none of that, like call me a wig, you feel me? From here on out, I will be just showing you looks like middle parts, no parts, side parts, half up, half down. And this video, I just wanted it to be something very easy. This hairline is unclackable. You're not seeing the lace. Yo, best week so far. Based on the construction and the quality, yo, it is terry tough tier. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You know what? I will definitely do a part two to this wig. And I can go on and on about this wig. But I need to leave a part of this voiceover. I feel like this may be my last time doing a voiceover too. Like, I kind of don't like doing it. So, hey. All the information for it, it will be listed down below and it will be a direct link. And I will also provide a discount code so you can save yourself some coins. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Anyway, later and I will catch you on the next one. Yeah.